Hi, my name is Alex. I'm here to speak to you once again. This time it's going to be in regards to my multi-dimensional experiences. So far I've only had two that I'm aware of. The first one was when I was within a dream. Now I was just sitting in my mother's healing room and my now just a reminder this is a dream again. So it all started in my mother's healing room. My mother was sitting across from me and I had my father to my left. I was unaware during that dream. I wasn't conscious. I was just observing. And then all of a sudden in the conversation that my mother and my father were having, he stated that he's trapped inside the box. As soon as they heard that, that statement, he's trapped inside the box. I became aware, just, oh, all of a sudden just became, you know, back in reality. It's like, oh, okay, all right. What do you mean I'm stuck inside the box? What kind of box are we talking about? What do you mean the box in the box in the box in the box? I'm in the box. I'm in the box. I'm stuck in the box. How can I get out of this box? What is this box to get out of? Then I realized I am the box. Okay, well, if I am the box, what does that mean? But, okay, well, how can I find the exit point of this box? And I was just going down those loops, those thought loops that just continued to go. And it was happening with a very short amount of time. I mean, how can you even reference time in a dream? But, yeah. And so, all of a sudden, my vision started to go a little bit funny. Like, I could see things coming in and out of waves, like the light and the colours becoming more vibrant, and then all of a sudden not so vibrant, and then all of a sudden vibrant again, and then not so vibrant. And so, yeah, that's how that happened. And then the next step after that was that I'd start to feel vibration moving through my body. Now that in itself is not new to me. So I experienced this multiple times throughout my life, over and over. But yeah, it doesn't matter. That's usually in reference point to um, expansion for me, going into the next bandwidth or increasing the bandwidth allocation of vibrational energies that this concept of body can hold. And so, yeah. So after this vibration, I didn't close my eyes. I started to feel like I was cracking open. Like I felt like I was opening. As if I myself was the box, like I said, right? And so it started with my with my face. So it went, like my head opened, but I could still see with both eyes as it was going like that. And it was the weirdest experience. It's, it's really hard to explain because I could still see that the vision was coming apart, but I could still see in the middle. Right, and it was just, it was just light, and it all happened so quickly, like within like three or five seconds. But it was the most amazing feeling I have had in so long, other than the next experience, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. So uh, as that was happening, I could just see a light, and I could feel a new direction. You know how you can feel your arms and your legs and. All that sort of stuff, you know, your head, you, you can move it, right? You can move whatever this is or however we're doing that. And so I could feel this extra dimension that was coming from within the center of my chest. And as I felt that, I was just like, oh, wow. Oh, oh, God, God, <laughs> like, what's going on? And I panicked and then it stopped. I'm like, yeah, okay. Who'd have thought, right? Okay, and um, yeah, so that was the first experience, I woke up after that, and I was like, what in the world is going on? But then there was also another dream that I had pretty much after I went outside and, you know, had a bit of smoke, calmed down, you know, got myself back together. But yeah, and so the next experience that I'll talk about was one that I've recently had, and I was with a group of my mates. And a group, like, the majority of them were my friends. And there were just a lot of people around. So I was at a beach party. It was good. And I was sitting in a gazebo with my friends. And we were just talking about 
really heavy consciousness sort of stuff. Like we're talking about like ask and she uh, ask and you shall receive and we were getting straight up evidences of it. Like someone asked for a lighter and then you know blah 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 etc etc. And so after we'd been talking about like I don't know, the possibilities of what we can do together combining the concept of asking you shall receive and um we all just you know set ourselves up we all went very quiet we all went very quiet we all just sat within ourselves and then my mate brent <laughs> the legend <laughs> <to know. laughs> um yeah he just all of a sudden just spouts out we're all just these entities with faces and i don't know for some reason that just cracked me up and that's just popped into my head now and yeah and so after that we're all just sitting there laughing all that sort of blah blah just chilling just enjoying ourselves and then we all went quiet again so i noticed that this was coming in waves like a lot of things <laughs> and so and yeah So we went quiet, and in that quiet, we started to feel the vibration again. Wow, I didn't connect that until I just said that then. So there's two reference points. And so I started to feel the vibration, and I started to actually shake almost violently. But I was sitting in a kind of lotus position, you know, legs crossed like I was in school. And, uh, um, yeah. So I started to shake very violently, like very, very intense, something that I can't really reenact right now. And uh, I had my eyes closed as, as this was happening. And so I opened my eyes and looked at everyone else as I was going through this, just in case, you know, like someone was looking at me seeing like, like, what's going on with you? But then I realized every single person around me was violently moving very quickly. Some people were moving backwards and forwards and like they were going with like weird little movements and stuff and their arms were going and all that stuff. And I realised I was actually the calmest one there. <laughs> well, calm might not be the appropriate word, as in like I was less dramatic in my expression of vibration. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And um Yeah, as this was happening, like I could start to see all these like bright colors like everything was just getting very vivid very beautiful to look at and as it was happening like i started to like look outside of my eyes it was weird like i could see multiple directions at once like it like it split i had it was almost as if i had multiple eyes other than these two sorry <laughs> yeah so multiple sets of eyes looking in different directions i could see I could see directly in front of me, I could see the people to my left, I could see the people to my right, and I could also see up to my right at the same time, like up that direction. That, that direction. <laughs> and then I started to, like, it was like my point of perception, right? Because you know how you've got these screens in your head that show you vision, right? It's almost as if I moved outside of that point of perception and my receiver of vision uh, started to be outside of my body but this is separate from like an astral projection or remote viewing or something like that because I've done that before so I, I know what that vision is like I mean that's cool but it wasn't this this was different it was like I was opening up again but moving outside of that and I wasn't limited by anything. It was literally like I could see the black side. Like, okay, so when you're watching a movie and it's widescreen, you can see, um, like, the black box that borders it. There we go. And it was almost as if I was looking outside the border of original vision of what I assume that you would perceive and what I know I perceive. Yeah, I started to actually see this being, 
and then he moved over to me and he came over and he shook my hand. But the thing is, as I was looking at this being, he was just all black, all black, and he had the voice of my friend. But the thing is, I was not seeing him. My mate, Dill. My Dill. <laughs> Love that one. Yeah, but. Yeah, that's right. And so he came over, he shook my hand, he's like, mate, you're a fucking, you're a great bloke, you're awesome, you know, blah, 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 talking about how, like, I'm not going to go into that. But the thing is, as I was looking at him, I could see everything around him, except him. And it wasn't black, as in, like, a match black, or a colour that you see on some texture in this reality. It was the absence of light, the absence of colour. And that was really intense. But yeah, I started to break outside of myself. And then when I realized what was happening, I went back in a panic mode and boom, back to normal. So, okay. All right. So it looks like whatever this is, is setting me up for something else that's coming. I don't know what, but I'm looking forward to it, whatever it may be. And I'm grateful for all the positive experiences that I've had alongside that and all the growth and all the amazing people that have been alongside me whilst I'm doing it. And so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update as to what's going on, or not, whatever. <laughs> Bless. I'm grateful for people even watching this stuff, if they do, who cares. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.